Hi Luxury Home Show, my name is Erica Fox and welcome to my Upper East Side apartment in New York City. So it's a one bedroom apartment, as I said, here in the Upper East Side. We've lived in this particular apartment for three years now, but it's my 10th year altogether in New York. So we've definitely started from the bottom and we've got to this really nice apartment that I've definitely dreamed about and manifested. As we go into the apartment, you'll see it has beautiful big windows. But the first thing you see when you walk in is this really cute entryway and it's actually my first time having an entryway in New York so it's kind of a big deal for me. First we have this console and again with New York apartments they're beautiful and the views but storage is never amazing so where I can I add storage because I work in fashion and beauty and I have a lot of stuff and a lot of clothes and a lot of everything. So we have this console table here and I've just decorated it with this lamp from CB2, some coffee table books. I love collecting little match sticks from restaurants that we go to, it's nice memories. And then obviously I love this Slim Irons print. I actually just recently added this here because as you'll see in the apartment, we have lots of creams and neutrals. So when you walk in, I just wanted to have a little bit of a pop of color and I just love anything to do with vintage tennis vibes. I just think it's so cool. Then on the other side here, we have another console. <laughs> we keep our shoes in here. You know, I try to keep all our shoes when we come in and then we have other bits and pieces. Again, as much storage as possible is the best way to do it. More coffee table books. I always like to have some candles lighting. I just think it sets the mood for when you come in. Some pictures. And then over here, we have this storage bench, another storage <laughs> piece. This obviously is for decor, but we keep some like extra blankets and everything in here. We have a very simple rug. Again, it's quite a durable one, obviously because it's an entryway. So that's a roundup of this space. Now let me show you into the living room. So this is definitely the wow room of the whole apartment. When we were searching for apartments, I definitely just wanted lots of light, which can be so tricky to find in New York. But when we came across this building, I knew we had to live here. We actually found this right after COVID and we've been here ever since. And it's just such a beautiful space to wake up to. We get the sunrise in the morning as we face east. So as I said, we're in the Upper East Side. This way you see uptown, across from us is Queens. And then you can actually get a glimpse of the Queensborough Bridge, which is so lovely at nighttime when it's all lit up. And then when you go to this side of the room and look left, you actually can get a slight glimpse of Central Park, which we're only 10 minutes from, which honestly is just the biggest treat and keeps me sane <laughs> in this crazy city. So when I, when we moved in here, when we like came to view this apartment initially, with the curved windows, I really wanted to just find furniture and find decor that was very complimentary of it while still giving the view its main moment. And New York is this chaotic city where you're out and about and it's go, go, go. So when, when you come home, it's just the best feeling to feel zen and everything is calm and that's why I have lots of creams and neutral tones. The curved couch was definitely a labor of love to find. It was kind of becoming trendy a little bit when I started to look for it first and I found this and they actually were able to deliver it to me. I think it was within a week and a half at the time, which was so quick because right after COVID there were so many delays with shipping and everything. So this was actually one of the first furniture pieces we had in this room. Then in this little corner, I actually had it quite empty for for quite a little while. I wasn't sure, I started with an accent chair here and I think it was just a little bit out of place because this view over here is actually one of my favorite views. As I said, at nighttime, the bridge is all lit up and I just wanted a little area where you could sit down even if you wanted to have a glass of wine and just look out. So I stumbled across this actually at an outlet, the Crate and Barrel outlet. I had my eye on it for a while and then I followed their Instagram page. It popped up, my most patient fiance, Tommy, drove me like two hours <laughs> to collect it and we brought it home and I just love it. And then these stools are from the Athena Calderon collaboration with Crate and Barrel. I love them. They're just really simple and they're definitely pieces I'll have forever. The lamp then, I didn't want to get something too crazy busy, but this corner at nighttime, it is really nice to have it lit up and just to have kind of mood lighting when we're watching TV or we're just chilling in here. So this was a great addition too. And then finally, this art was actually done by one of my followers. When I lived in my last apartment downtown, I was looking for a big piece to have over 
our, our couch area and she reached out and she commissioned this for us and I've kept it ever since and I'm definitely going to have it in like all my homes to come so it just completes the corner perfectly. So then in this area we obviously have our TV which believe it or not is a TV. This is the Samsung frame and I genuinely can't recommend it enough. It's definitely a little bit of a splurge but if you're like me and you love design and you love aesthetics it's just so nice to be able to display it as an art piece throughout the day when it's not on or at night time and the amount of people that come into this apartment <laughs> and they don't know that it's a TV so I really think it actually does what it says with the art element. You can switch out the art like depending on the season as well like sometimes in spring I'll have more of like a floral art and then in autumn winter you know more darker moodier tones it is such a great investment and you can actually change this bezel as well they call it so you can have it white or black like depending on what your space is so i love that and then the console area has actually been through a couple of rounds of changes i'm not going to lie to you it actually started off here with like a faux fireplace i thought that was the vibe when i moved in but i definitely was wrong then we moved to more of a cream kind of off the ground console and then i recently switched it out to this more darker wood which i absolutely love this room is obviously very neutral very cream and it, which is amazing because obviously the view takes the prize attention when you walk in but i just felt it was missing a little bit of contrast so i found these actually two consoles just together because it's quite a long wall and again great for extra storage everything is like hidden away in there and it fits a lot it fills the full wall i really really love it and then again lots of coffee table books i love coffee table books and I genuinely read them like I buy these and I flick through for inspiration and then I'm always just picking up little trinkets so this was actually a home goods find I'm very much a high low person when it comes to my interiors and my design I love the expensive investment pieces but I also love a home goods trip a target trip I love to pick up little trinkets as I go and also thrifting things I adore going thrifting for the day looking for things and then this lamp is actually a very recent addition it's from this brand that I love called off-white palette she's based I'm pretty sure on the west coast and she has the most amazing things we actually have a few things from her in here this side table with the spiral legs that's also from her and then these new sconces that I recently got are from Off-White Palette as well. They are so beautiful. I was looking for something for this wall for the longest time and initially I was going to do a tall lamp but because we have the lamp here I felt like a sconce would just be nice and simple but still give you know a wow effect when you're facing towards this way. So I love that brand in case you're ever looking for nice decor pieces. Then we have some accent chairs. I mean, the couch fits a lot of people, but I, we love to host and we love to have parties. So I just like to have a lot of seating in here so that when everyone comes in, you know, everyone has a place to seat and we don't have to bring in extra chairs. So these are actually just from CB2. And then the big mirror is amazing for what I do. I share a lot of my outfits and just my day to day, what I'm wearing, what I'm doing on my Instagram and on my YouTube channel, on my TikTok and everything. So this is like the designated selfie mirror of the apartment, which is very big and great. It shows everything. And I love that you can see the reflection of the skyline in the background. And then the last part of this area would be the coffee table. And this is another piece that's been with me for I think seven years actually I've had this and the main reason because it's so heavy it's real marble so Tommy and I are just lazy to switch it out because it is a very very tricky one to move but I absolutely love it it was one of my first kind of slurge pieces in my last apartment and it fits in lovely here I love again that it's the darker tone it brings a bit of contrast because again there's lots of cream and you know neutral so it's nice to have this pop and then just a simple vase. These are um, fake florals actually from this brand called A Floral. They do really, really nice ones that look, obviously you know that they're faux florals, but they don't look cheap or they don't look like crazy inexpensive. So I definitely recommend them. And then I just love lots of candles, lots of coffee table books. And yeah, it brings the space really nice together. So then from here, you're moving straight into the dining area. It's New York City. Everything is quite small and one room serves a lot of function, but what I did to just separate the space was added a round rug over here just to give it a little bit of separation. Obviously it's the same room, but I actually love to work from this table as well. So it's nice to have 
this little nook over here and we have dinner here and when I'm hosting parties I use this table as you know the table to put all the drinks and all the food and everything. This table actually there's a little bit of a story it's a Facebook market find when I moved in initially I'm just super impatient I wanted to get the place done so this came I think it was like maybe gray or some random color. And I spent like two days painting it to try to get it to a cream color. If you look closely, it's not perfect. I'm not gonna lie, but it serves the purpose. And I initially had thought, okay, I'll just have this temporarily while I'm waiting for something else. But we ended up really liking it and we kept it here. And then the chairs were a little bit more of an investment. They're from a brand called Our House. So it's a definitely a high, low moment. I'm pretty sure this table was like $100. And then the chairs kind of like bring it together. Again, a vase, I changed these out all the time. We're coming into autumn winter now, so my florals will definitely be more this kind of vibe, but in spring, you know, it's more tulips and colorful flowers. So it just depends on the season. Then over here, we obviously have the four mirrors. This was actually from our last apartment as well. Our last apartment, I think, was maybe just under half the size of this apartment. <laughs> much, much smaller. So we had this little nook and I really wanted to make the space feel bigger. So I added the four of these mirrors just behind our dining table in this tiny little nook that we had just off the kitchen. And it really makes the space feel bigger. And as you'll see, Obviously we have all the windows and then the other walls basically are mirrors with the big selfie mirror and then these. But if you have a small space, I really recommend doing that and bringing light and bringing just the idea of more windows and more space, like mirrors do such a good job at that. Then our console is from Lulu and Georgia. I'm pretty sure this is where I keep all my hosting pieces. I love to host. So I have lots of glassware and I love collecting nice dining sets and just tableware. I'm constantly adding to that collection. Then we have some photos. This is actually my mom. We did a campaign for, I think it was Sunglass Hot and we shot that on Park Avenue and it's one of my favorite photos. And this is Tommy and I. This is actually our engagement party and then just other coffee table books and decor. So yeah, that's this space. And this is probably one of our most used space. We love this corner. So this leads us to the kitchen. So kitchens in New York are definitely small but mighty. As New Yorkers, we love to eat out and go for dinner and go for drinks. So I think as a collective, cooking probably isn't our priority all the time. So as a result, I think landlords maybe put the least amount of time and effort into their kitchen. But honestly, this has served us really well. We've lived here for three years now this is our fourth year and we definitely cook a little bit more as the years have gone on and it has everything that you need the storage is quite tight but i love organization and i love having everything really nice so we actually do fit everything that we need in here these are like our glassware tableware we have a little coffee section here um our good old air fryer i actually love this meg toaster and kettle duo it's it makes it look a little bit brighter in here we have some jumbo soap and the fridge is actually pretty decent size um we actually can fit quite a lot in there and then i just added in some neutral tones and just some more brown tones on the rug as well and yeah it's definitely not the biggest kitchen you'll ever see on this channel but for new york it's absolutely perfect And now we're on to the bedroom. This is our New York City bedroom. I've definitely had much smaller bedrooms than this in the city. So when we found this apartment and we saw that we could fit a king bed, honestly, it's the little things in New York. Any fellow New Yorkers will fully understand. So our bed is just our little safe haven. Um, we kept it very neutral. Again, in this apartment, I just wanted to feel like when you're coming home, from a crazy day out and about in the city that you come home and you just feel at peace and you feel calm and it just feels very zen. So lots of neutrals, lots of earthy tones. We have um, this accent pillow I actually love. It's from a brand called The Citizenry. I think they're based here in New York, but they get lots of their textiles from all over the world. So they work with lots of different uh, manufacturers and craftspeople like all over the world and I can't remember exactly where this one's from but I can leave all the details in the description or whichever so love that and then the rest is just lots of white very airy we have little wooden side tables and then little lamps at night which gives really nice lighting and then over here is the little area that I get ready in again in New York you use all corners and all parts of the room so I just added this here because I love to just sit down in the morning 
do my makeup, have my coffee. Sometimes I'm, I'll film it, you know, for my Instagram or I'll use this area to just like go on my story and have chats with my followers. And then we have this tray, which I love. It's from a brand called McGee & Co. And I just keep all my perfumes here, which is a nice decor piece, but also very functional. Then this corner of the room, I just put this accent chair. It's nice to just have this when I'm getting ready. And this is the wardrobe. You'll see that my style is also quite neutral as well as my interiors, but this is kind of the main wardrobe. And then I have one other small one where I keep my dresses and sweaters and things like that. But this is kind of the main one. And obviously I have all my shoes. I kind of customized this a little bit when we moved in. Again, like a lot of things in New York, the wardrobe space is never the biggest part of the apartment. So you have to get crafty and you have to be really organized and you just have to keep on top of it. And I'm very much the kind of person that lives by the rule one in, one out. So when I get new stuff, I have to get rid of some stuff. So I'm always clearing out, but I added in these shelves for my shoes. In my last apartment, we actually had a really cool shoe wall. If anyone maybe followed me back then, you might remember. I had this amazing shoe wall, but in this apartment, we just had to we had to cut that, so now we have the shoes in here, which works perfect as well. Then next to that, we have the dresser. This fits so much. Again, I like the darker tone. I had been thinking about maybe switching this out down the line for maybe more of like a wooden or just bringing a little bit of contrast in, but I do like a pop of black throughout the apartment, as you'll see from the coffee table and in the entryway, and then this just ties in that theme here in the bedroom as well. More coffee table books. And again, we have another Samsung TV here. I am literally their biggest fan. And I think once you get one of their TVs, it's very hard to switch. So you have the art in here as well. I switch this out all the time. We just have a neutral one today. But again, it's just so nice to be able to change that up depending what mood you're in. Then next to that is probably my favorite part of the bedroom. <laughs> I'm not sure Tommy will agree with that, but this is where I keep all my bags. And again, this was such a inexpensive storage solution. It's from Ikea. I'm pretty sure it's called their Ikea bookshelves and you can kind of customize them and then you can add the doors. So I'll just open this one up so you can see at the bottom, I keep my tall booths. Then we have clutches and more um, crossbody bags. And then I have my nice ones <laughs> on display where you can see them. So very customizable. And again, when you're in a rental apartment and especially in a city, you know, as much as you want to maybe build out wardrobes or build out storage and that would be amazing but I think you just have to get a bit crafty when it's a rental because again it's not forever and you don't want to you know spend loads of money and then have to just take everything out and not be able to use it again so I really recommend this and I also changed out these door handles which is just the small things make a big difference so I really really love this corner <laughs> And then moving over to the bathroom, but I also want to just quickly show this print. I love Etsy for finding just cute and quirky little prints. And I love this. It will always be New York. And this is, you know, what they take the orders on in lots of New York restaurants. So I just thought it was a nice little New York touch in the bedroom. And then the bathroom, like the kitchen, small but mighty. It's nice that it's an ensuite. We have a shower. Obviously everything else you'd expect in the bathroom. And then I kept the decor super simple in here because when it is a small room, you don't want to clutter it and you don't want to just add too much stuff. I want to keep it as nice and organized as possible. So we have our towels here in the corner and yeah, that's about it for the bathroom. <laughs> So that brings us to the end of the tour. I really hope you enjoyed seeing my New York City apartment. Definitely, if you wanna see more behind the scenes and pictures and everything, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Erica underscore Fox. And thank you so much for watching. Hi, Luxury Home Show. Welcome back, nice to see you again. I'm Sophie Patterson, interior designer, and welcome to my Hyde Park project. So sadly this time we are not filming my house, I wish this was my house, but we've just finished a nine month renovation of this beautiful townhouse 